Devontae Adams, just to fight <laughs> oh, Are you on news on Tuesday. Devontae doing? Adams traded to the Jets. Hold on. Stevie, get the tweet out there. People need to be watching the facility right here, right oh. now. Text your friends. Text your girlfriends. Wow. Text your homeboys. It's the time to cook. James, you in a group chat with Devontae Adams. <laughs> you were supposed to tell me this, I know, James man. Jones. I'm talking Dang. about the Saints. You were Dang, supposed to dog. tell me this, James Jones. Hey, he gonna answer? Yeah, call him. <laughs> call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. Well, just let him know. He's FaceTiming him right him. now. Call him. Just let him know. Um, Dev- oh wow, Devontae traded to the That's Jets. Big. Now, answer. Shady, you yeah, wanted Devontae yeah. to the Bills. Yeah. Mm. I know you wanted Devontae you, to the did Bills. Did you see that game last night? I saw it. I'm say no, it sir. Like Yo, during the game, I text everybody in the group chat because you don't only really text that much in the group chat. But anyway, is he calling his answer? Yeah, yeah, we gonna see. Answer. We gotta wait. Oh, we gotta take it. Yeah, 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 James Jones agent. currently FaceTiming Devontae <laughs> Adams. We will see if he picks up. If so, we will patch him into the show oh, yeah. one way Max. or another. Um, this is real TV, live TV, taking y'all behind the curtains. Let's get instant reaction. Devontae Adams to the Jets. Shady McCoy, you like it? I love it. No, I love it. They need that number one. I think if you put Garrett Wilson to the number two, because I think Aaron Rodgers and Devontae have that connection, right? Them back shoulders that they were missing with right. Garrett Wilson, they're not going to miss yeah. Devontae Adams. And the red zone targets, mm-hmm. right? You're not going to mess with him. And another thing is, he's going to be not even the distraction, not a distraction, but uh, for the defense, he made the mm-hmm. distraction. Like, oh, where's Devontae? Where's yeah. Devontae? And now other guys can get open. They need this. They need another spark. Yeah. When I watch this team play, they can run the ball well. They have really two good, really running backs. <laughs> they got one solid wide receiver. I'm still trying to figure out if Garrett Wilson's a number one. Yeah. He is good, though. Yeah. Right, but they need one more piece that's a guarantee. If I throw him the ball, no matter what coverage, yeah. he's going to catch that ball and score. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, I believe if the Jets had Devontae Adams and Hassan Reddick, they would probably have two more wins. Easy. And again, oh, no, I agree with that. Like, they would probably have two more Easily. wins. Y'all do realize I just showed y'all a play of a wide receiver making a mistake. Mm-hmm. If Devontae Adams is on that Jet squad, Mike Williams is likely bumping down, if we're being honest, to the fourth receiver. Yeah. Because Alan Lazard is probably going to be third because Aaron Rodgers trusts that's cr- Lazard that, that, more. That's, that's it, to not trust. Cause, not because <laughs> Lazard though. is better. Mike no. Williams is your fourth? Yeah. Because, because I mean, Aaron Rodgers trusts Lazard spot. more, you're going to have Devontae at one, yeah. Wilson at two, yeah. Lazard at three, yeah. Williams bumps to number yeah. four, and plays like what happened Wait. yesterday, which lose the game, don't happen. Do you, do you think that instantly Le- Devontae is the number one? And instantly. Yeah. Just instantly. Just because they're on the same I know, place. but I'm saying, like, obviously he's better for saying, hey, here's your locker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, the thing is, my question uh, is, like, so obviously we know Devontae's the best receiver on the team. Yep. But everything's been, since yeah. Kent, for the last yeah, two years, yeah, everything's been yeah. going to Gary Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? If we want this player to get this ball, mm-hmm. yo, we designed no it for doubt, him. No doubt. So all that changes. Yes. And as a coach, this is, this is big, too, and that's, yeah. that's really good. DA's the number one. But as a coach, we ain't forgot about you, number five. You know what I'm saying? We are going to make sure that we get you involved in this game. But we got another dude that's like that, too. Because in my humble opinion, D.A. making that touchdown catch. And it's a whole different game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You understand what I'm saying? D.A.'s getting his whip, too. D.A. definitely going to get his whip. On the red line. D.A. definitely looking back earlier in the Minnesota Vikings game for that back shoulder. It's different type plays because Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams is on it. This is big time right here, and I think it's at the right time because your season is not over. This division going to come down to the wire. I'm not a big believer in Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. You're two games back. I think you can fight your way back in this division. It's going to be interesting. But D.A. over there. Hey, he should have won the Bills, though. Chase, yeah. some reaction first. Um, um, yeah, a, a lot of Ooh, a lot of things go through my head. The, the biggest thing is obviously Devonte moves into. I I do agree the the number one spot, but then but then um, you know Garrett Wilson. Like I thought he played pretty well yesterday. Um, he did. He's going. Devonte's going to get a lot of attention. It's going to give the Jets attention. an opportunity to get Wilson matched up in the slot. I really liked what I saw from Garrett Wilson yesterday, mm-hmm. specifically in the slot. It allows him to move into the slot more work against linebackers, nickels, and safeties. And look, they're two and four. Is this going to save their season? I don't know. But, like, the whole issue is Aaron Rodgers has to feel comfortable with his receivers. Clearly, clearly based on what we saw yesterday, he does not feel comfortable with his receivers. This move screams Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams on the page, day one. Got to figure out how this hamstring issue happens and how quickly we can get, you know, D.A. on the field. That's where I look at it about from the offensive perspective because you run the ball with Brees Hall, you run the ball with Bray Lowne. Now you got Devontae Adams taking the top off. You got Alan Zard with five or six touchdowns, the best number three. Well, 
Jawan Jennings probably best number three in football, but the cheapest number yeah. three. And then but, Mike Williams at four, like yeah. four wide. I just look at all the things you could possibly do with them. This is actually the perfect time for this Devontae Adams trade because at the end of the game, Aaron Rodgers blamed who? Oh, a wide man. receiver. Yes. A wide receiver who likely would not be in the field in that situation anymore because Devontae Adams is there. Coach Both strong. Too. I think it's Both being coach strong. Both. Even when they drop, who was that? Uh, yeah, over Garrett Wilson dropped the touchdown. And I won't even know because you said it was a hard hit. That wasn't no, a hard man, hit. That's, that's, no, that's where you touchdown. want that ball. Yeah. So what, what, what we're saying is that the difference between touchdowns, thus winning and losing, is Devontae Adams. Yep. And confident. And being where you're supposed to be. Yeah, what, what about the confident part of it, though? Yeah. Right? On, on defense. How confident are the defense on, with, with the Jets offense? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, we, we, we get this stop. We know our quarterback and our offense is going to go out and get points. Mm-hmm. They're not confident saying that. Yeah. Or, or, or how about an offense? Offense line. Yeah, we gave them great um, protection. Mm-hmm. We're going to score a touchdown here. You don't know that. I think when Devontae comes there, he builds that whole confidence on defense. Sauce Gardner, yo, bro, all we got to do is stop and get the ball back to the offense because, yo, they got Devontae now. Yeah. Right? All them things, I think it matters. And another thing is Aaron Rodgers. As much as we think he's super confident in his ability, mm-hmm. I don't know if I see it on the field. Mm-hmm. I think if you, if you get a, a, a solid opportunity, he knows ins and outs, he knows everything yeah. about him. Be if, and if you don't get Devontae Adams, which obviously they have, I, I don't know if down, now they're two and four. They've only played six games, right? Yeah. I don't know if Rodgers looks at that film with Mike Williams and Garrett Wilson both taking inside releases on back to back plays on go balls. If he even tries to throw that whole shot yeah. again yeah. with Devontae Adams, he knows he's going to get outside release. It's confidence. It's, it's the confidence and trust to what Shady was talking about yeah. as a quarterback. Because if you get burned on something, which Aaron Rodgers got burned a little bit, it wasn't a good throw, I get that. You have Devontae Adams yeah. coming in. You have the trust of him. They're automatically on the same page. He automatically becomes the number one receiver. Yeah, and, and trust is huge for Aaron Rodgers. But not only that, trust is huge for quarterbacks. Yeah. Be where you're supposed to be. Yeah. And if you are where you're supposed to be, you get the football. Aaron right now don't trust they are going to be where they're supposed to be. If you are where you're supposed to be, you are going to get opportunities from Aaron Rodgers right now. And it's crazy to sit up here because I think Mike is a good player. I hate us even blaming yeah. it on Mike like yeah, that. I and I hate us even saying Lazar is better than Mike because I don't agree with that neither. But agree. Aaron don't trust him to give him That's the opportunities the that he's given Lazar. And I think Mike is better than that. But you got to earn that trust from the quarterback now, to get those opportunities. Get Shady Brees just had his best. He just had his best game last game. Yeah. How yeah. will Devontae Adams help that situation? Well, the running game is already good, right? So I think if you bring Devontae, it gets even better and better and better. Playing with guys like Deshaun Jackson, right, or, or the Tyreek Hills, you see the difference between the running games where the lanes are way bigger when no guys are outside. But I will say this about the confidence part. Um, when you get a guy like Devontae, you know him so well, Aaron Rodgers. I remember having Jason Peters, my left tackle. He was super good. Yeah. Best player I've ever played with other than the quarterbacks, right? I played with Jason Kelsey, another one. Certain play calls, right? I would love with the Eagles. Then I go to the Bills and certain play calls, I might hate them. Mm-hmm. Do you know why? It's because you know what type of blocking you're going to get. Yep. If we doing pitches or we doing uh, um, 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 pulls with, uh, with um, power blocking, yep, yep. right? I know that this tackle is going to wash yep. this thing all the way down. Where, where now Aaron Rodgers, like he knows, yo, if I throw this, this back shoulder ball, I know Devontae Adams is going to catch this ball. Where I don't know if he feels the same way about Gary Wilson. He has so many targets yeah. and not a lot of results. Yeah. With Devontae, you give me a lot, a lot of targets, I'm going to give you a lot, a lot of results. And those, are, and those are plays you can't leave out there. You can't leave them out there Man, like, because it's hard to defend it. But not only that, you know you're in the middle of the field. You know you're going to take a shot. Put, stick your hands yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Come on, Doug. Chin the shoulder. So they can't even hit that ball out. Ha. You're catching it body, so now you really can't even put chin the shoulder. Protect yourself. Stick your hands out. Put the chin the shoulder. Catch the ball. Touch and celebrate. That's my problem, dog. Probably fine in New York right now. No, though, no doubt. No doubt. You're doing, y'all Those, know they make moves yeah. quick. Shady, I'm going to ask you first. What are now the expectations for the Jets? They're two in four, I believe, two, two and four, mm. trying to turn the season around. What are the expectations with Devontae Adams? You want me to probably say playoffs, mm. Super Bowl. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Right? Let's get some consistent wins. There it right? is. Let's look good as an offense. Because the defense, for the most part, is solid. Even though yeah, last night they kind of got the rain on them a little bit, I need to see them with some productive offense. I think Devontae's that answer. So before we talk about anything with playoffs and winning the division, let's go on a two, three game winning streak. I think they can do it. And another thing is, as a defense playing the, the Jets offense, now you got to think about that. Before it was a young, talented Gary Wilson. Yeah. Hey, look, guys, hey, stop the run. Got two good running backs, right? They got a number one receiver. He's young. He's, he's emerged to that superstar. He's not there yet. Take care of him. Now what do you do? Because yeah. now you got a, a top five type talent wide receiver now. Yeah. So I think this, let's just make, worry about winning this yeah. in games. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm like you. Let's win one game. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Let, let's get Devontae in the building. Let's win one game. Let's get some really good chemistry going. And let's get some confidence in that locker room. The Jets have lost back-to-back games by one score. Come on, man. This season could really be different. Devontae might not even be in the building if Aaron makes two throws. You know what I'm saying? If Mike Williams is looking in the Minnesota game, if Mike Williams is in the correct spacing, Devontae might not even be there. Let's just win one game. Let's be where we're supposed to be, and let's get some confidence in this locker room, man. Yeah, I mean, they, I don't know if he's going to be this superhero that's going to save their season because their season is going to hinge ultimately how Aaron Rodgers plays, but it's also these dumb penalties, guys. You go watch a game like, like yeah, that there's just a amount of penalties, and you change head coaches, the, the lack of discipline that they have. They should have won that game. They should have won that game, and, and so, look, I think he – provides Aaron Rodgers with some trust. Yeah. Yeah. But in my opinion, this is sort of a panic move for the Jets. They right. they they really gave the Raiders everything they wanted right away when the Raiders were pushing them out of the building. It's a conditional third round pick that can become a second round pick. Mm-hmm. The Jets are taking on their entire salary. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, man, like unless you get some wins and you can point to it, right? He's got two years left on it then I, I, like, I don't know how much this helps uh, but here's, the Jets win games. Here's what I think. Y'all remember, the Jets have lost three straight games by a cumulative 10 points. Yeah. If Devontae Adams was present, they could have easily beat the Broncos. We know that much. Yeah. They could have won that game last night. And the game versus the Minnesota Vikings, it came down to the last possession as well, a game where if Devontae Adams is present, a future Hall of Famer, you likely could potentially win that game as well. You've lost three straight games <laughs> by one possession or less. Yeah. Devontae Adams, I would hope, is worth one possession. What this shows me... It's not the same old Jets. Woody Johnson was serious when he said, this is a playoff and championship caliber team. Whether they are or they're not, he believes so, and he's moving with conviction. I love the move because Mike Williams, Aaron Rodgers is suggesting, cost him an interception last game. Devontae Adams ain't going to do that. You would have beat the Broncos. You could have beat the Vikings. You likely would have beat the Bills. Go all in while you have Aaron Rodgers. He's only going to play one to maybe two more years. I love the move. This is a move that champions make. Whether they do it or not, it's a move champions make. And not only that, Champions? Macho. They they ain't champions, bro. They're going to be lucky to make the playoffs. What what would you prefer, y'all? Would you prefer they just sit there and they're receiving losing? Good. They need other help. But it's not great like Devontae. That's good, though. We're just talking about how Mike Williams is going to be the number four. Come on, dog. This is acting like this is going to be the the, the key to everything. Look, next four games. It helps them out a lot, though. They They got the Steelers. They got the Defense. Cardinals, they got the Patriots, they got the Texans. With Devontae, you should win three of those yeah. four. Right. Without what, Devontae, you could beat You're the Steelers. Two. Uh, you could for sure beat Steelers, the Steelers, bro, with the you defense. Can. Man, you they should be able to beat the Steelers. Hold up, dog. The Steelers don't put up Justin points. Fields got to go against that defense, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, so, like, like, you should be able to beat. And ain't putting no points up like that. You should be able to beat the Steelers. You oh, should beat the Patriots. You that. already have. And you should be able to beat the Cardinals. I think, yeah. the, I think the best thing about this trade is we do know it gives them a better chance. Yes. yes. That, that we do know and that. They, and even every game, though. Every game they spend, exactly. he's talking like he's, like, no, Super Bowl saying, bound. I, I understand Champions. because like, if you're looking at Mike Williams being your fourth receiver and you got a two-headed monster at running back and now you got a dude that you got chemistry with and you already got chemistry with Lazard, you got good chemistry with, with yeah. my man Wilson, yeah. This offense should be legit to be yeah. able to put up some points. For, yeah. Now, and we're eight, oh, go, go, I'm sorry. another thing that screams is because I talked to Devontae oh, in the yeah. beginning of the week. And I was like, man, what's it going to be, man? Saints, Jets, Buffalo, like, what's up? And he's like, man, I'm trying to figure out if 12 going to play again next Ooh. year. So this screams to me that, hey, man, yeah. I'm going to be here one more. Right. So right. now right. I think yeah. this is really good for next year, too. Like, let's get him in the building. You're taking on the contract. I think this screams A-Rod will come back for one more year. And let's go try to check for one more year to make it make it right. You feel what I'm There's, saying? There is an out in his contract that Devontae Adams can get out of next year, though. Just just in case A. Rod doesn't play. Mm. I, I do just think so you know. Mm. And I think like A. Rod is not the old A. Rod that we used to love and, and dream yeah. that we watch play on Sunday. It's not him no more. So I think if you bring in Devontae Adams on now, I don't have to be special. I don't have to be great. It's funny when you when you watch the game last night on one side on one offense, the blue team, right? Mm-hmm. The Bills. Josh Allen does everything. He's yeah. like a superstar point guard, yeah. right? Yeah. That can score. But then if I'm not scoring, I'm giving you an easy layup or alley hoop for you to dunk. When you look at the, when you look at the uh the, the um the yeah. Jets, they don't have that, right? It, 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 they have all these talented players and they still can't connect. Yeah. We don't need you to be a great yeah. point guard. Yeah. Yep. All I need is listen, I need something. Let me throw the thing in the paint. Well said. Right? Throw in the paint. Well Big, said. Boom. Yeah. And I think Devontae's that. And, and here's my thing, because I, I was gonna put it out before the show. As I was thinking about it, I was like, Mike Williams is either getting benched, he is getting released, or he's going to end up uh, on the injury. Here's why I say that. 
Did y'all see after the game, again, y'all know me, I was just yeah. up watching it. I called Coven, our producer, we prepped the show. After that, I said, let me see what Aaron Rodgers talking about. Yeah. He went to the podium, and Shady, Mike Williams cost him not once but twice. I don't know Aaron Rodgers personally, James yeah. Jones does, but I know quarterback play. Yeah. Chase, you are a quarterback. I, know I played with Mike two years. Eventually, if a quarterback lose trust in you, yeah, it's, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's I look back, back, y'all do realize Mike Williams only got three targets. Three targets. One led to an incompletion, second and 18. One led to an interception. Got three targets. So at the point in which you're on the field, and not only are you not producing, you're hurting the team, so and you're hurting me. Yeah. What you still on the field for? And James, you've said this before. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have that much grace. What up, YouTube family? Welcome to the facility. Thanks for watching, and you better be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to get more highlights from the show and all of our exclusive content.